right, y'all. Mother's Day weekend part two. I'm with Miss Lauren, so we can go shopping for her mama. And we're at none other than a Target, Target, her favorite place to shop. All right, y'all. I'm just walking around Target. I'm not really seeing anything that catches my eye. Lauren's been shopping. She's got her a buggy with stuff in it, and. I don't know. They had some blueberry tea towels back there that were pretty cute. Almost got them tea towel set. And by the way, y'all, I had to take off that necklace because there was something on it that was scratching me. So I need to take it when I get back home. I, I'm gonna look at the links and the chain part and see if I need to squeeze them together or something. But something was uh, scratching your neck. And guess what? Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, Lauren's getting her stuff, honey. Look at her stuff; it's piling up in the in the uh, buggy, honey. All right, y'all. I'm gonna pick me up some. I'm out, so I need to get me some while I'm in here. I'm sure it's a dollar cheaper at Walmart, but uh, you'll spend. I'll spend three dollars just going there trying to get it because I should have ordered some on Amazon, but I'll get it out of here. Are we done, Lauren? Are we checking out? Mm -hmm. All right, let's check out. Okay, y'all, we're at Lauren's other favorite place, the Asian market, so she can get her some noodles and seasonings and all that other stuff. This used to be my hot spot. Did you get everything you wanted, mm -hmm. needed? Y'all, this is really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. I made these one morning. Whatever she just said. <laughs> Depending on if you're allergic to peanuts or not. Oh, okay. We're chicken out. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. I am up early. It is officially Mother's Day. Let me put this trash out. Okay, y'all. I'm up so early. It's like at the crack of dawn, 7 o'clock. And the reason why I'm up so early is because I'm headed to the grocery store because... You know when something is good if it purity wakes you up out of your sleep. That cake or that che that strawberry cheesecake cheese that strawberry crunch cheesecake was so daggone good. I thought, you know what? I want to make. I want to make it because <laughs> I, I actually love baking or I used to love baking a lot because I used to have to bake for my son all the time right when he was in middle school and, and uh, all the way through high school I used to bake a cake probably once or twice a week he loved and I, I you know I didn't do it from scratch it was uh, Duncan Hines of Pillsbury but you know I put my own little flair in it and frostings and stuff like that but I woke up this morning, I was like, you know what? Cause yesterday after I finished with mom and Lauren, as y'all can see, I um, I always try to bring dessert. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do my version of that cake in my interpretation. I, do, I don't have time to do a cheesecake because cheesecake, you got to have time to let it sit. It's best to let it sit overnight so it sets up real good and it's not running. So I thought, I don't have time to do all that. So I thought, you know what? This is what I'm going to do, y'all. Check it out. Check it out. So I'm going to get, you know, some strawberry uh, flavored cake, you know, Duncan Hines. I think Dolly Parton. She done stepped her toes over here into the uh, box cake mix. So I might, you know, check hers out. But I am a Betty Crocker a woman. But anyway, so I'm going to get some strawberry uh, cake mix. And then, and it's going to be two layers, two layer cake. The middle frosting, I'm going to make it a strawberry frosting and then I'm going to dice up some 
uh, strawberries and put that in the middle layer on top of the frosting. And then of course mount it with the second layer of cake, strawberry cake. And then the outside, the sides and the top of the cake, I'm going to, the frosting I'm gonna use is a cheesecake frosting. Cause I've seen that they do have cheesecake flavored frosting. And I'm gonna do that on the outside and the top of the cake and then dice up some more strawberries, you know, and sprinkle them sparingly on top. And that's gonna be Mother's Day dessert today. Yeah. Tell me I ain't gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, do it, do it. So like I said, I wanna go on to get up early before the crowd start and it, it's officially a Mother's Day. And so yesterday I was gonna go to Sam. And the reason why I'm doing it, because yesterday after I finished with Lauren, I dropped her off and then I was gonna go to Sam's Club Honey, I passed by Sam Club that Parker. I thought, oh heck no. Because we waited in line a minute at Target to be checked out. But anyway, and plus y'all, oh my goodness, y'all, my body is so sore from power washing by hand my house, my, the front of my house and the fences. So all I have left to do now is the sides and the back. So I'm just gonna pace myself. I really am. If it takes me a week to get it done, oh well. But, cause I need time for my body to recoup from the soreness. And y'all, let me tell you, I had to take me a John Brown Epsom salt bath. Oh my goodness, cause I mean, like I said, I did this on Friday. Friday is when I did all that to my house and baby you know how when you haven't moved certain muscles even though I exercise every day baby all that extra squatting and bending over and see when you're when you're working and doing stuff you're just doing it and bending over and you know y'all my body was so sore but it's a good sore because you know you're doing but I did I've been stretching and I, I, I just had to take a Epsom salt last night because it was I, my body was just sore, absolutely sore. And I know some people say, "Girl, you should have went on and paid." Uh, uh, no, uh, uh. When listen, now I may take some of y'all suggestions. I may think about it on Monday and go on and rent a power wash from uh, Lowe's. I might do that. Or get a nozzle, an extra nozzle, spray nozzle. But see that that spray bottle with the solution. See, it already hooks up to your hose. So, but anyway, I do know I'm gonna have to go back and get another. I'm just gonna get a bigger bottle of that solution, and that way, if I have it left over, I just have it, and it'll be for next year. But honey it's look uh, my fence and my vinyl side in front honey it look like new money it look like fresh sparkling white teeth <laughs> but yeah um i just you know i just felt the need and like i said it's good exercise for your body it really is and like i said now that i'm going to a healthier place and i'm feeling good to do that then i'm gonna do it now when i get to a point in my life and i can't do it y'all already know uh call the number uh excuse me when can you fit me in? then that's when i do it but stuff that i can do and i get it now when my mom i remember my mom said says that about herself she said look when i get to a point that i can't do stuff I eat cooking, I eat cleaning, all that kind of, she said, I know how to open my mouth, she said, but for things I still can do on my own, let, let me be able to do them, and you know, as you get older, you do, you don't want to lose your independence, but you also don't either, you don't want to overexert yourself and hurt yourself, but know your limitations, and trust and believe y'all, I know my limitations, trust when I tell you, like I said, I'm 52 years old, I have a lot more energy now that I have been going through this health journey. So things I know I can tolerate and do, I'm going to continue to do them. Just like older people. Let 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 your parents and older people do 
what they want, what they can do for themselves because it is a sense of independence. And like I said, if even if I still have to call somebody to do the top part of my house up there, at least it would be no more than about maybe 200 bucks to do that. If I can't reach it with that thing, with the power wash uh, that I get from Lowe's, because I am going to uh, see how much they charge. I probably have to have it. If I do that, I'll make sure I, you know, I'm sure they charge by the day. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to make sure that um, I can reach those areas. And if I have to pay somebody, it, it, look, $200 sound a whole lot better than $1,200. And I did the majority of the work. And guess what? I only have to do it once a year. I can handle that. I mean, you know, as a homeowner, those are just things that you have to do. Like I said, I don't have a husband or a man around there yet because I'm believing God. But, you know, even if that never happens, what I can do for myself and for what being a good steward over what the Lord has given me. And that's what people do. Let me tell you something. That's homeowners. Look, that's what people do on the weekend. If the husband don't do it, the wife do it, you know, everybody likes to do certain things. I have a lot of friends that are single, and I have friends that are married, and guess what? They love getting out there on their ride lawnmower and cutting their own grass. Whereas me, I, now that, I'll continue to pay somebody to do that. Absolutely. But little stuff that you can do for yourself, absolutely. Go on out there and get it done. At least you know how to do it if something if something goes to the left, you know exactly what to do. So, like I said, you know, for things I know that I still can do and save me a little bit of do re me, absolutely. I it just to me, it just is not worth paying that kind of money. The last time I had my power house power wash, it was three hundred and fifty dollars. And he did the whole house, he did the driveway. And he did my fences. But, mm-mm. $1,200? Mm-mm. I thought, uh-uh. I'll, I'll, I can fray the cost. I can put in a little, a bit of my own muscle power and get it done and get her done. Um, like I said, uh, a couple of Epsom salt baths later, plus I'm burning calories. I'm building actual muscle. I just got to remember, and I did stretch. Um, and just do what I have to do. And again, pace myself, you know, start when I start feeling a little tired and fatigued, take a little 10 minute break and then keep right on going. And like I said, I ain't got to get it all done in one day. If it takes me a whole week to do my whole house, it's done. Once it's done, it's done. I ain't got to worry about it again for another year. So that's the way I look at it. But yeah, that's why that's why when you're home or you have little things that you do, do you just you know your curb appeal, your it ain't no different than your own body. You gotta wash your body, scrub your body. It's no different than your house, honey. Your your house gets all the elements of what goes on outside. So anyway, anyway, for those of you who own house, y'all already know to get down, honey. You you have your little certain little projects. And that's why I come DIYs and, and all that is so popular because people recognize, you know what? Let me put my own little sweat equity. If I can save five or six hundred dollars and me and my family trying to go on this kind of vacation and I can save myself about six hundred to a thousand dollars by doing my own labor and renting my yeah, I'm gonna do it. As long as you ain't throwing your back out and hurting yourself, pace yourself. I you know do it and like i said honey this is all counting toward my thousand hours outside so but anyway we shall see but anyway let me go on in here and get uh the stuff and that's why i'm up so early i'm doing this i'm doing it doing it doing it all right y'all let's get on in food line
y'all, I've got the cake out of the bunt pan. And I think I'm going to do it upside right instead of upside down. Because I just like the shape and the look of the top. It has that crunchy look, you know, bumpity look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the microwave and let it soften up. And I'm just going to drizzle the strawberry and cream cheese on top. I'm not going to sprinkle any, because um, I got to thinking about that. Um, since this is going to be room temperature cake, if I had done like the cream cheese, the actual cream cheese uh, cake, then it could be refrigerated. But because this is going to be room temperature cake and those strawberries need to continue to stay tempered. So instead of chopping up and putting it all over the cake, I'm just going to dice up some and keep in the refrigerator in a separate container and when I take the cake over to mom's house today, if anybody wants to sprinkle some strawberries uh, individually on their piece of cake, they can. So anyway, I captured the essence of the strawberry and then I put the, y'all, as y'all saw, I put the um, cheesecake pudding mix, mixed it into the to the uh, actual cake batter. So it, 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 it mimics it. Of course, it ain't as good as at the Duplin Winery, but I'm doing my own essence of it, my interpretation of it, until I want to tackle the real deal. Because like I said, that cake was excellent. So like I said, all I'm going to do now is just heat this up a little bit, enough, just enough so I can drizzle it on there. And of course, once it gets back tempered, it'll sit on the cake room temperature. So yeah, I decided I wanted to keep it instead of doing it upside down. Plus, I like the color. The color is very pretty on the top. Now the bottom is, you know, it's it's almost like a tannish, stra uh, you know, pink strawberry color. But the top captures the essence that it's a strawberry cake. All right, y'all, enough of me jaw jacking. The next clip is just me showing it completed, and then um, I'm gonna get dressed and we'll go to Mama's house. I probably won't do a whole lot of recording because we're going to spend time loving on Mama. Cake is done, my face and body is done, and I'm headed on over to Mama House. I, again, I hope y'all have an also blessed Mother's Day. Love you. God bless peacemakers, and may the peace of the Lord be with you. All right, everybody likes the cake so far. Go ahead. <laughs> You still got that phone on the phone? <laughs> oh, I didn't even see you over there.